Thanks everyone for coming back for another segment of The MCR. Mac and me, my name's TJ. And in this segment, we'd like to talk about uh, something that's scheduled to be released in 2022, March of 2022, or correction, correction, March of 2025, March of 2025, okay? Uh, and this is this is no joke. This is uh, this is intended to be uh, of uh, serious uh, usage and application, but it's Oxford's new African American English Dictionary, and it's uh, involving words used within the Black community. Uh, they have these words. They've actually given definitions like in the format that you'd find in any conventional dictionary. This is not intended to be a joke. This is not intended to be a slander or a slur. Uh, if anything, it's the new norm. OK, uh, Mac, your thoughts so far on uh, the new black dictionary? Well, I don't know why we need a black dictionary. Uh, words are. Well, uh, I understand it, what it is. Is it's a it's it's not an African American. It's a culture. It's a black culture dictionary. Yeah, and you know it's all about being inclusive now. Yes. You know? Well, whatever. I mean, people have la language evolves. Uh, our friends on the left, uh, which I don't have any of, I say that facetiously. They uh, they like to change the meaning of words. To well, some out. of these have been changed. Some of these have been changed. Because okay. I'm going to go. Uh, they they've released ten as uh, think of it as a uh, as a uh, you know uh, tease or whatever. You know, just just an indication of what's to be released in 2025. And they released ten words. And and I'm and I'm good. I'm going to go down them. The first one they they gave was bussin. B U S S I N, and it's used as an adjective or participle. And the definition for bussin within, and remember, these definitions are uh, within the black community's usage. Okay. Okay. So, I've never heard any black people say bussin, but. Well, you know what? Neither have I, but uh, yeah. obviously Oxford has. <laughs> well, we the black you know? people I know are older people too, so. So, so the definition given is especially describing food, tasty, delicious, also more generally impressive, excellent, describing a party event, busy, crowded, lively. Um, so uh, that's uh, bussin. And, and you, I've never heard the, of that word either, but. Uh, yeah. So I could have a bussin slice of pizza. Oh, uh, you, you know what? Or, or you could say that slice of you know what? That slice of pizza was bussing. Or maybe I could see this young blonde and she's bussing. Oh, yeah. Uh, you, oh, you know what? You're, you're taking me down a path there. <laughs> involving too many involving too many bees. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So anyways, anyways, the next word grill. It's a noun. A removable or permanent dental overlay typ typically made of silver, gold or another metal and often inset with gemstones, which is worn as jewelry. Dental overlay, it, it sounds like something that go, goes in the mouth. Yeah, you've and you've seen it, wrappers wear, although I don't know how they wrap with those things in their mouth, but people will wear and they'll have uh, like a bunch of gold teeth and jewelry in their mouth. It, okay. That one I am familiar with. And it's also, that's expanded to, if I said, I'm going to get up in Terry's grill next time I see him, that means up in your face. Ah, okay. All right. Next one, and this is a compound word, promised land. Used as a noun, a place perceived to be where enslaved people and later African Americans more generally can find refuge and live in freedom. Um, I certainly hope they perceive America as the promised land. I, I mean, if not, where, 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 where would they find a promised land more than America, you know? Uh, the next one. Chitterlings, noun, plural, a dish made from pig intestines that are typically boiled, fried, or stuffed with other ingredients. Occasionally, also pig intestines as an ingredient. Uh, yeah, now I have heard of that one. I have too. Uh, I have never uh, indulged in that delicacy. No. We, we can say. I know how horrible it smells while it's cooking. 
that, but, I, uh, that I've witnessed. And also, you know, it comes back, it stems from the days where people didn't waste any part of the pig. Oh, uh, no, I got that. You, know, you didn't have so much that you could have wasted anything. You had to make the most out of every part of that pig, including his shit track. Yeah. Okay, the next word, kitchen. As in you cook in the kitchen. But this has got a completely different different definition. The hair at the nape of the neck, which is typically shorter, kinkier, and considered more difficult to style. I that I have not heard it used in that in that method. Or have I? That's a new one for yep. me. Okay, cakewalk. Uh, now now I guess in the in my high school days when if if we uh, use the word cakewalk, we might say, yeah, that class was a cakewalk, you know? Sure. Some, something, something that was a breeze, something that was easy. Uh, I suppose this doesn't mean that? Uh, well, it, it, it's a noun. A contest in which black people would perform a stylized walk in pairs, typically judged by a, by a plantation owner. That's what Oxford's saying. The winner would receive some type of cake. I didn't think any of those fellows were around anymore. Uh, I don't know. Uh, something that is considered easily, okay, something that is considered easily done as in this job is a cakewalk. Okay, so the ver so the second part of that definition, I, you know what, I've used it that way, you know? So, I think uh, anyone who said it used it that way. Yeah, okay, so uh, all right, we, you know, we have a word in common here. Old school. Yeah. Yeah, I use that. I'm old school in regards to baseball. Yeah. You've called uh, me, it's an adjective called characteristic me a characteristic of early hip hop or rap music that emerged in New York City between the late 1970s to the mid 1980s, which often includes the use of couplets, funk, and disco samples and playful music. Also used to describe the music and artists of that style and time period. So uh, while while it has a similar meaning to the way we used it, I, I, I guess uh, I guess they, they apply it a little bit differently, you know? Well, you know, you and I might use it in a way that, you know, I, I, I am from Detroit. I'm a, a, a native Detroiter, so grew yeah. up on Motown. I would call Motown old school now. And, and for those unaware, Detroit was originally a French settlement, and Detroit pronounced in French, is de toi. Just a little FYI uh, for those out there. Uh, the next one, pat, P-A-T, verb, transitive, to tap in rhythm with music, sometimes as an indication of participation in religious worship. Uh, intransitive, usually a person's foot to tap in rhythm with music, sometimes to, to demonstrate participation in religious worship. I, you know what? You could say we use the same word spelled in reverse. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I, I have a theory about all of this. I'll, I'll get to in a few minutes when we get through the list. All right. This next one, this next one is it's a compound word, three words uh, together. And, you know, I guess from my upbringing, I would pronounce it ant, A-U-N-T. But I have heard, you know, different uh, ethnic groups called aunt. Aunt. Yeah, overseas it's said that way too. Like in, uh, yeah. I believe in Great Britain it said aunt as well. But uh, mm -hmm. Aunt Hagar's children. And and I don't know if I scripturally believe with this definition, but uh, it's, it's the definition given by the esteemed Oxford, okay? But uh, Aunt Hagar's children a reference to black people collectively, etym etym et etymology, probably a reference to Hagar in the Bible, who was a concubine to Abraham. She had a son, Ishmael, and was cast out by Abraham because uh, Abraham's wife, uh, well, said she's got to go, you know. So I guess there's some some belief that, uh, that the... Uh, uh, you know, the black ethnicity uh, may have come from uh, Ishmael's line somehow. I, I don't know, you know, but uh, so goes uh, Oxford's definition of the of that compound 
those compound words there. Okay, and last, the last one, the last of the ten, ring shout, a spiritual ritual involving a dance where participants follow one another in a ring shape, shuffling their feet and clapping their hands to accompany chanting and singing. The dancing and chanting gradually intensify to and often conclude with participants exhibiting a state of spiritual ecstasy. And so says, uh, so says the esteemed Oxford uh, group in regards to the usage of these words. It's another uh, institution that's been corrupted for this. And, and it's not for the reason people might think. I, I think they've been corrupted for money. But uh, this is this is this is this was uh, the segment was uh, not considered to be in jest or joke or, or oh. joke or anything. Just uh this is what Oxford's releasing, and I guess uh, there's going to be at least 100 words in Oxford's new African-American English dictionary. I think the uh, inability of Americans, white and black, to uh, talk to each other and un understand each other. I mean, if you're speaking a different language completely, you're not going to have very good communication. Well, so I guess you and I better start uh, doing a bus and show. Uh, or something. <laughs> Uh, all right, uh, that's that's all I got for this one, uh, and uh, you know we'll we'll uh, we'll possibly provide uh, a greater ranting in the uh, next segment. Okay, so uh, as always, be safe. Watch your six, and don't tread on me. <laughs>